Hi everyone, Wednesday night again. Alright, tonight's session itself, we are going to revisit okay, year 2021 okay, of the info and contents that I have shared during early this year, okay, annual uh, astrology talk for 2021. All right, uh, to recap, okay, everything just generally about the year and then also, of course, personally, all right, for our own Batsu chart, okay, to see, right, have we actually make breakthroughs and learn the lesson we need to learn, all right? So tonight's uh, setting will be slightly different. I'll be standing because the slides are, in a way, most of it are taking the whole entire screen. So I need to move, okay, from side to side in order for you to be able to look at the uh, uh, slides as well. Alright, so hi Chang Feng, alright, thank you for tuning in. Just to make sure that the sound is okay and the visual is okay, alright. Um, so tonight's session, visual is important as well, so that you can actually see the slides, okay. Because there are some of the slides itself has uh, pretty much a lot of like uh, information and uh, 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 point forms okay so you can always replay the whole session okay thereafter to to refer back okay so the purpose of tonight's session is to ensure that all of us are ready okay to embrace 2022 by ensuring ourselves has gone through breakthrough okay and overcome whatever lessons we need to learn okay throughout 2021 all right sound loud and clear thank you Chang Feng hi Elena okay hi good evening Nice to always see all of you here. Ref, uh, Rave Red, okay. Melvin Gadas, okay, from uh, UK. Thank you so much for tuning in, all right. So just ensure that, yeah, the sound and also the, uh, um, in, in a way that the background, okay, needs to be clear to you. And also because the night sound itself, in order for me to actually move around, I didn't really have my mic on, okay. So therefore, um, you just need to let me know, okay, if I am clear enough, okay, or loud enough, okay, so that you can actually tune in. Now, first of all, okay, before I actually start the session, it would be great if you can, as usual, help me to share the session out, okay, on your Facebook so that it can actually reach for uh, more people so that, again, all right, a lot of you has actually paid, okay, early this year to attend, okay, the session itself to know about what are the personal breakthroughs, what are the general forecasts of the year, okay, in terms of uh, career and business progress, what are the things, okay, that you need to actually focus on, learn, okay, and in a way, breakthrough in order for you to learn the lessons, okay, in a way, serve for you this year, okay? So, therefore, we are doing a recap now, just in case some of you have forgotten, okay, what you need to focus on, or some of you might have missed, okay, early this year's uh, annual astrology talk, this will be the best time for you to catch up, okay? Because generally speaking, we still have like December and January. It's like slightly more than two months, okay? Probably two months and another one more week before officially the Tiger Year comes in. So we still have two more months to catch up, okay? To the lessons and breakthroughs of this year. So please do help me share it out so that more people um, can actually, in a way, benefit from the information as well. Hi, Jesse Fu, CW Ang, Michelle Liu. Jesseline Chiang, right, thank you so much again for tuning in. Again, for those of you who just tuned in, please do help me share the session out so that it can actually reach uh, out to more people. So before I start, okay, no, tonight's session, you need your partner chart with you, okay? So you will need to actually scan on the QR code over here or you can actually click on the link, okay, that will be shared in the comment section below, all right, so that you can actually like click on the link to plot your chart. So here I'm going to share with you, now this is how you go uh, uh, about into plotting the chart, go into web my website or click on the link, okay, and then in a way click on the chart plotter, okay, for those of you who are in a way have not gotten your charts plotted out yet, okay, before, and the chart plotter, you put, uh, click on the plot here and you come to this page, just Fill in your information and it brings you to your plot budget chart where you fill in your details. Your year, month, day and hour, okay? If you have your hour, that will be the best. If you do not have it, then for tonight's session, ignore it, okay? It doesn't matter, all right? So once you have key in all the information, right, you will go into the chart itself, okay? So your chart will pop up, screenshot it, okay? Uh, so that you can actually, in a way, refer to it as we go along with tonight's session, okay? So 
here free parts of the plot here okay just click on it you will come to this page put in your information okay and once you fill up your information you will come to this chart fill in your details your year month date and hour of birth including the gender remember to put whether you're male or female and once you have gotten that plot, put, uh, click on the plot part of the chart and you come to this page click on it all right just click on this particular chart itself now for those of you if you do not have okay your time of birth key in 0000 and it will come out blank on the hour pillar okay but tonight's session we do not need that okay so uh, one more round i'm gonna allow this particular video to play just one final round so in case okay those of you if you need to plot it out you can get it done uh, by uh, now okay but i'm sure most of you here already remember your party chart by heart okay so if you already remember it by heart okay very good so we can now proceed on okay to the next session where i'm gonna bring out my slides all right so i have to actually in a way like you not know, push everything that i've shared in the entire one day duration of content into this one hour session okay so i'm going to briefly go about all the contents okay not all most of the contents okay especially those that relevant to our personal breakthrough okay in fact all the general outlooks and all that okay now that we recap back okay at the end of 2021 i'm sure a lot of things that have happened okay so for that part itself i'm going to briefly go through it okay you can do more research on your own and then just check on yourself and see it's like what exactly are the things that have happened okay and one of the best way okay to really recap okay right the things could have the uh, major events that have happened for the entire 2021 itself right i think uh, wikipedia okay if you really search of like you no know, major event of 2021 in wikipedia itself they are constantly updated okay with a lot of all those events all right so tonight we're going to focus on more on personal uh, breakthroughs okay as in like look into your own chart what are the things that you are expected okay to learn okay and in a way to break through okay in order for you to make the best out of 2021 now before i even go into that what exactly is year 2021 as all of you know that it is actually a year of the metal ox okay and during my sharing session early this year itself you know that okay i in a way refuse myself to call it a ox year where else i actually want okay to call it a bull year instead and you, those of you who attended how many of you here actually attended my session early this year okay you can share with me here remember i asked you to actually choose okay which type okay you want to be this is all part of the cattle family okay so which of this okay particular images here that you want to end up being in 2021 okay so at the end i narrow down to three different types okay i i guess by now okay you would have been able okay to tell all right so what sort or which particular category okay in a way that you have chosen okay either consciously or subconsciously to be part of okay remember that i narrowed down to this tree now the first one is the ox okay now the middle one is the cow okay the milking cow and of course the last one here is the bull okay you can actually see those of you from us this is the one that you have in new york okay where it has its his balls intact okay so the difference between the ox okay and the bull itself are oxes are what castrated bulls okay so remember early this year i've actually throw in the question as in like jesse Fu, you were there all right so early of the year itself we actually throw a question as in like which one would you rather choose to be okay because at the end of the day we are the master of our own destiny would you like to be the castrated ox okay throughout the year where in a way you'll be in a way like push around okay you are of service of other people okay where you have to work for other people or would you like to be this like you know like a, a milk cow okay to be milked throughout the year for the benefits of other people now there's no right or wrong remember we mentioned about this it's always a matter of choice okay and once we have made the choice we have to live with the consequences and of course the last one here of course is the aggressive bull okay so at the end of the day the year of the metal bull itself okay or the year of the bull or the ox or whatever or the year of the cow you call it victoria image is this okay and from here we know that every time we go through this particular year itself we have a choice which exactly we want to be 
how we would like to see our year unfold okay for that particular year itself and from here we bring everyone to actually go into the outlook of 2021 where we plot out the party chart okay so yeah hi everyone here okay romax okay hi to you as well for those of you who have just in a way yeah you know joined me it would be good if you can actually bring out the qr code for people to actually like uh scan on it okay or uh in a way like yeah scan on it so that you can actually in a way yeah plot out your chart for those of you okay if you have just joined me the qr code at the left uh, uh upper right uh upper left corner is for you to scan on it so that you can go into my website okay and plot out your part of chart because tonight's session we need that all right and again for those of you who can help me to share this session out okay please do help me to share the session out so that it can actually reach out to more people we're going to recap okay generally outlook for 2021 and then the most importantly is like what we have to look into what are the focus what are the breakthroughs okay what are the lessons of 2021 for each and every one of us all right so that we can remind ourselves in this final two months itself okay have we learned those lessons okay have we made those breakthroughs in order for us to gear up and get ourselves ready for 2022 all right then after the pictoria image of 2021 okay those of you who attended okay hi Fuiling. okay thank you for being here may wang thank you for being here as well okay Fuiling may wang are the, my uh, um yeah childhood uh, uh in a way uh, uh schoolmates all right so donna poon thank you so much for tuning in remember you need your partner chart scan on the qr code uh, in a way, go into my website, okay, and then plot out your party chart because you need to refer to them. If you miss part of it, don't worry. The whole session will be on replay, okay? Just focus on whatever that you can, in a way, catch up to. All right? Hi, Katie Gore. All right, now, overall, this year itself, the official enter or, or entrance into the Metal Bull year itself, okay, starts on February 3rd, okay? And I remember, this is the chart that I showed you, okay? at 11 p.m which is a red hour and this is a chart that i show you earlier this year okay and this is in a way represents the energy of the year of 2021 so early this year itself we decipher the chart okay by looking at it you see that all blue colors are water element all the white colors are metal element and you have the red color as fire green color as wood and also the yellow color as earth element all right so what does this mean okay so overall okay we look at this chart itself and i have in a way translated the chart into a pictorial image so that it's easier for everyone to understand okay and through that itself okay we have came up with a pictorial form of a geyser okay so we can see that this geyser over here okay is a area or a place where you hardly see any greens around because these are the areas where you see, okay, there's a lot of water, there's a lot of pressure, water above, and then underneath there's a heat pressure, okay, underneath. Normally, it's like those like volcano areas and all that. You will see that the pressures are intense, okay, that it shoots up, okay, the water got in a way spouted, okay, or shoots up itself, okay, which is in high degrees. So, it is a extremely, in a way, dangerous place, but it's also at the same time, very beautiful all right so this is a pictorial form of the lap chun or coming of spring okay chart of 20 uh 21 if you come back to look at this chart so what does it mean you can see here minimal wood okay a lot of fire like the fire is strong okay in the way because it's supported by wood it's not really the strongest the strongest is water obviously and metal okay but here you can see the weakest element is earth okay and then surrounding itself you hardly see much okay protruding woods that's why a geyser can actually in a way represent <clears throat> the whole situation okay or the whole scenario so when we talk about that okay then we talk about this year itself is a highly pressurized year a lot of people will now feel the pressure okay a lot of things that's from the outside because geysers normally are tourist attraction okay a lot of people goes to these places because it's beautiful okay it gives you that oh okay you go there it's like wow it looks good but you see it also holds with it okay a very dangerous you know in a way a, a phenomenon or situations in fact you can kill yourself you get too near to the geyser okay therefore it is also in a way called as something as in like it's like very nice to look at very beautiful to look at and to observe okay but the thing is if you get the nearer you get to it okay 
or in a way the more you get caught up to it it can actually burns you or even kills you okay that is what we actually discuss so generally that's the feel of 2021 and overall you see metal and water now water represents emotional we also talk about 2021 an extremely emotional year okay out of the five elements okay later you go into the chart okay that talks about the five elements water represents the emotions of fear okay so this is a year where a lot of people okay will be affected still by fear and matter itself is grief and sadness now these are the emotions that represented by the five element so since water and metal is one of the strongest or two of the strongest element in the chart itself okay and it actually takes up the entire upper area of a party chart <coughs> oopsie sorry okay that's my doggy anyway okay you know that it actually takes the entire upper area okay of the party chart itself all right and therefore you know that metal and water represents grief sadness and also a lot of like fearful emotions okay and we foresee that not all of course okay but you see that is a majority of people are still very much okay affected by sadness grief okay and of course a lot of fear okay and remember early this year i talked about different industries because every time people ask it's like oh it's like what industries will do good and what industries will fare badly all right but for once i actually tell everyone okay since this year onwards okay i want to stop telling people as in like what industry will be good based on the five elements or what industry will be bad this it doesn't make sense it's just like telling you it's like oh what animal sign is good okay and what animal sign is bad throughout the year but cannot mean that every animal sign in the entire world itself will be faring the same thing all right so the thing is this early this year i share with you and i guided teach all of you how to derive the industry that will thrive okay comparatively to industries that will in a way merely surviving okay or even having like a lot of issues or troubles throughout the year itself and how do we go into that of course the first layer is like in a way going through the layers of the five elements represented by the industry okay now example normally a lot of like practitioners will say that oh water is the strongest so whatever that is represented by the water related industry should be doing well okay but the thing is okay i beg to differ in that sense okay because it's like you know you have to look at the overall emotions that is governing the general public okay when we do forecasting okay the first thing is we need to know what are the emotions that is governed okay or governing the general public what are most people feeling throughout the year okay as you can see here most people are feeling fear grief sadness all right and then also at the same time later we'll look into the hexagram okay to see another layer of the informations given for 2021 so by looking at this you know that example okay there are plenty of industries represented by the five elements but doesn't mean okay that like all of these industries will be doing very well okay but amongst all these industries what are the industries that in a way give hope remember we mentioned about that now i'm not going to details all the five because it will take me one full day all right but remember we say is that the weakest element is fire and earth in the chart so this is the most needed because we want to bring balance into the chart of 2021 the most needed um how to say element of 2021 will be fire and earth because too much water too much matter we need okay in a way right earth okay that represents of course like you know uh, uh emotions of worry and trust okay but also now earth represents stability and security okay so you know that okay earth is much needed or very much needed this year itself because it's the weakest okay therefore people want it more in order okay for it to balance the whole chart so anything or any industry be it you are in a water fire metal wood okay or earth industry but at the end of the day okay your strategy your approach your purpose of your business okay if it's selling hope if it's selling stability security okay how can you actually make other people feel better all right that is earth and also fire because fire here represents joy passion and hope all right so overall these are the two things that is needed throughout the year so whatever industries that you're in okay as long as in a way you are sharing selling okay or educating okay in a way delivering okay security stability hope and passion okay into the society into the market people needs you 
All right, so remember that's how I actually guided everyone to determine what are the industries which will be doing good and what other industries will be in a way suffering a lot. So generally, even though I even mentioned, okay, because I have to listen back to my whole entire talk, okay, for two days itself to come back and recap for this, okay, I mentioned even water is the strongest in the year itself. And the industries, of course, logistics, tourism, casino, cleansing, healing, including anything fast moving. I mean, hawkers or even like, you know, those drinks, uh, bubble tea and all those things, right? Even though this is the, uh, in a way, strongest element, but doesn't mean that, example, bubble tea shops and all these things will actually do very well. Because overall, okay, this particular item or product in the market, it doesn't sell hope. It doesn't sell, like, no way, security, no stability. Okay, remember, that's how we guided each other to find out what industries, okay, will be faring well and how to strategize yourself. It means that, what are the marketing ideas? What are the branding ideas? What are the business development ideas you have to implement into this year itself in order for your industry or for your business to grow, all right? So that's in a way generally what we talk about, all right? Now, other than that, we also look into the hexagram of the year. But before that, we summarize, okay, right? Overall, 2021, one of the summary based on the budget chart is it will be a year of stress, pressure, Emotional, okay, that's why more and more people are still very emotional, okay, intoxicated and contaminated. Now, this one, I know I specifically talk about it because, again, remember, metal water is very strong and you know that in this area itself, it looks very beautiful, it looks very good, very promising, okay, but at the same time itself, it is contaminated, okay, at geysers, all this water, it is not safe for drinking, okay, because there's a lot of minerals, a lot of metal element inside the water that somehow, okay, it actually brings, in a way, contaminations to human consumption all right so therefore it is still a year of intoxications contaminations okay now due to the hexagrams itself okay deals with like the geyser now geyser itself is a seduction okay it's a temptation why because all these places itself right it looks wow it looks beautiful okay somehow it seduces people to go and watch it to see it to feel it but you know that it actually brings okay a long risk or danger to it Therefore, we summarize that 2021 also will be a year of seduction, temptation, entice, lure, fitness, fraud, hearts, okay? It means that a lot of deceiving things, okay? A lot of all these fraud cases, a lot of all these like, you know, scam things going on, all right? And overall, from the part of the chart of the Giza Victoria image, up to even the hexagram, it is called a beauty hexagram. We will go into that again later, all right? Beauty hexagram is also all about like, you know, fitness seduction okay you put on a fake look okay in a way to hopefully entice people lure people in okay so generally 2021 will be things like that okay so any of you okay if you have come across any news okay relating to all this like you know like seduction contaminations temptations okay these are the things that you can actually share it as well and remember also as in like you know uh, we mentioned that just now okay during this now metal element okay metal element is the second strongest element and is very prominent in the year and also the month okay of 2021 lap Chun, okay and metal remember we mentioned about like military police okay right anything to do with all this like military force okay by control management taking control and by force okay hard control pushing it okay and if you pair it together with number six uh, flying stars, okay, of the feng shui flying stars this year, there's a lot of like people trying, okay, to take control of power, political changing hands and stuff like that, and of course, deployment of military and police officer, okay, we mentioned that early this year, and I mentioned that these are the people who are high in demand, okay, it will be deployed more, then it followed by, like, no, after the, the talk itself, it followed by, I think, the capital, uh, 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 US capital uh, uh, building riots, okay, it follows by after that Myanmar. And then you see that this year itself is like a lot of Afghanistan going on, okay, uh, Kazakhstan, there's also a lot of war going on. And you see also, if not mistaken, if I briefly check on the Wikipedia, there is at least a few of like, you know, power turnover, okay, and also assassinations of presidents, okay, that happened this year as well, okay. So that's how we actually look into the uh, uh, outlook 
Now this year also we continue to say is that remember all that glitters is not gold. Okay, so this year itself, okay, is very important because external and internal are imbalanced that will affect okay not only on a business point of view or in the market but it also affect on individual it means that more and more the individuals will find that in a way imbalances between their external self and their internal self therefore it leads to a higher chances of depression okay remember we mentioned about that and of course early this year you see that by half a year okay if i'm not mistaken in malaysia check back on the news and other things okay by the first six months of the year, okay, the toll of suicidal due to depression has in no way surpassed the entire year of 2020. Okay, that's how bad, in a way, like you know, suicidal in a way records it okay, has been. Only Malaysia I've checked because I was doing this depression sort of like workshop recently. And then of course, if you look into the world itself, I'm sure that more okay of this particular data okay are affected in the whole entire world as well okay and of course eruptions danger and risk because due to the geyser and the pressure okay a lot of eruptions a lot of dangers probably it's like earthquake okay and also because due to the um how to say the the high pressure things okay it will be a lot of natural disaster and when i mentioned natural disasters i did specifically say also if like every year we sure have natural disaster easily you predict okay oh got flood okay got fire sure every year will be correct one okay but the thing is when we actually mention okay heightened natural disasters as i mentioned earlier on okay it needs to be a record breaking natural disaster moment so if it's flood or it is like you know it is fire it will be a record breaking a uh, uh, sort of like a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, state all right so if you look back into like 2021 you can also see that these things have also happened okay we have record breaking fire okay if i'm not mistaken and we also have even the flood okay due to the climate change and other things right okay it's like a lot of places okay are also in a way suffered okay from this massive flood okay that have happened as well all right and overall okay we also in a way now all these slides are the slides exactly used due early this year we didn't change the slides we just compile it together and to share it again okay, tonight and overall we also say that 2021 okay it's a year that we need to do what uh, these are the overall focus so 2021 is a year of acceptance and be the change so this is a year of acceptance. Can we accept the pandemic? Can we accept that we are living amidst in the COVID pandemic? All right. Can we accept that? Can we accept that a lot of things just doesn't work anymore? Okay. We have to make that change. Okay. Things are transiting right from physical things is getting more online. Okay. Example, right. The period nine or IT and technologies, more AI things and other things are coming up. Are we adapting to that change? Okay, people in a way gets on Zoom meeting, Google Meet, and other things as a norm. All right, are we adapting to that change? All right, so these are the focus. So how many of us have actually, in a way, learned and accept all this? Have we be that change, or are we still struggling, blaming, victimizing ourselves? That is one thing that we might want to take note of, okay? And the second thing is release what's old and embrace the new. So 2021 overall, it is about us releasing what is old, okay? And embracing the new. Now, I have decided on this year since, okay, my uh, um, uh, tenancy lease, okay, for my office, okay, is due last August, okay? So I have decided once and for all, it has never been so clear before in my entire, like, you know, 11 years of having my business and like having the office, okay? It has never been so clear before that we decided we are going to release, okay? The office we don't need an office anymore we don't need a physical office okay and all these years those of you who know me knows that even though i have an office there i'm hardly there okay i only be in the office probably is that during the classes okay and other than that even my consultations is always done in cafes okay because it's nearer and more convenient for me all right so the thing is releasing what's old and embracing the new have you done that okay have your business done that in your life itself in your career what are the new that you have embraced and what are the old that you have chose to release okay and this year focus also come and look through superficial and superfluous claims okay so people can claim everything because beauty hexagram okay everything looks good like the geyser okay so people can claim that oh 
everything is promising okay or this is good you must have it okay it is supposed to protect you okay this is the great thing for you to have okay but are we able to be calm and look through all the superficial and superfluous claims because everyone will claim that they're the best everyone will claim that whatever they have okay will be able to keep you safe no deeper understanding you get it you get it those who listen to my talk you know what i'm talking about okay but overall itself can we actually in a way calm ourselves and look through this rather than having that fear and run to it overall it is a year of contamination to be very honest as in like we see the variants of the delta okay uh, 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 uh covid delta variants okay but the thing is we still have not really seen that contamination yet okay so if you don't see it this year okay right this year itself is like the contamination happens in the metal itself okay if that contamination is not seen this year it will come out latest by the snake year so by 2023 up to 2020 uh, uh no uh 2024 up to 2025 when the snake year comes in which is a few years down the road right a slow contamination might take place okay but if that takes place or so i would say that probably some of you and me definitely will be affected by it so fingers crossed okay so now focus on short term goals okay short term goals means this is a year where we need to focus on short term goals rather than going anything long term because it's still a year of change it's try and errors we are still trying okay in a way experimenting different things okay so whatever it is okay it will be good for us to stop worrying okay about too long or too much into the future but actually start okay implementing something in the short term so that we can experience it try to work on it and in a way uh, improve it if needed now less is more less is more is something that is like whatever that's need not needed okay go back to basic whatever that's not needed we have to release it so for me one of the greatest liberation is really i release the whole entire physical company right we are going into the era look to be honest right in fact we have like numerous okay uh, feedbacks from students that they, they feel online sessions they can learn better okay they can understand better and the best thing is they can actually access to replay and all the slides are in a way popped up right in front of them so they can actually in a way gauge okay all the information much better all right so less is more untangle the knots liberation free means that it is a year for us to look into freedom okay how free are you all right can you even make a decision on your own can you even in a way control and manage your own time all right can you in a way control or even manage your own life okay that is a lesson or a breakthrough that you have to look into if you still can't do it why not okay what is it exactly that is stopping you from reaching that okay because this is a year of untangling the knot okay liberating ourselves and freeing ourselves okay those of you who attended my grand central and breakthrough you know we have the past 12 years to work on right what are the past 12 years karmic loop okay that has been weighing us down that is stopping us from moving ahead because if we do not untangle ourselves this year next year we cannot accelerate so why i need to share this back to all of you is because every year people are so anticipating okay the upcoming new year oh how's the animal sign which is coming soon by the way all right oh how am i going to fare in the new year itself but you see every year we serves a certain test paper a certain lesson because if we don't clear these lessons well we cannot move ahead it will be in a way an accumulated karmic debt that's why people in a way finds that their luck gets from bad to worse okay they can just cannot move ahead they becomes more miserable it becomes their energy becomes more heavy and cannot even in a way push through okay so these are the things we need to work on and how many of these things that we have worked on you can share with me in the comments all right so manage expectations and worries okay remember this is a year of short-term goal if there's too much worries yes everything comes to us covid pandemic then you can say that yes jesse of course okay we have to be worried okay we are talking about a global pandemic yes but what can your worry do okay to in a way 
like you know we push you forward it's like the more you worry doesn't mean that it's going to actually help you okay to have a better perspective of things it is not going to actually help you to clear any issues all right so it's better for us to focus on practicality what are the things that can be done what are the things that cannot be done okay instead of worrying about it all right so grow the inner fire check on your purpose so this is a year for us to focus on what exactly is my fire inner fire means what exactly is my purpose what is the initial what is the push okay into what i'm doing your career okay in terms of your job okay in terms of your businesses what is your ultimate purpose okay if your answer is all oh, ultimate purpose make money law if you make money law then too bad that is not supposed to be in a way yeah the answer okay to things there must be some satisfying things to it something that fulfills you internally remember the whole of this year itself we talk about internal fulfillment we talk about breakthroughs okay we talk about internal purpose because that is the overall focus of the year okay so out of so many points here how many have you thick okay how many have you in a way achieved how many have you learned and grow out of it so if you have in a way ensure that all of this you have learned okay and master the skill you have learned to accept and make the change you have released the old and embraced the new it can be career it can be business it can be relationship okay if you had can still calm yourself the whole entire year to look into all superficial or superfluous it means that instead of uh, hastily reacting to anything can you still wait okay and see through the things first before deciding on it so if you have done all of this good for you because partially you are very ready for 2022 but if you have not if you feel that you be honest with yourself part of it is still in a way tangling you you still in a way are frustrated that how come you cannot be free how come you cannot even even make decisions on your own you feel trapped you feel in a way that you're suffering from certain like relationship or career or job or whatsoever okay that is the thing that you have to learn and overcome all right so once we have gone through the overall focus i'm sorry i'm, I'm speaking very fast because I want to share all these things again okay, in one hour time as much as possible okay if i'm too fast okay if you cannot you know catch a clue what i'm trying to tell you okay try to actually replay the whole section okay because it's available on my facebook okay you can click on it okay replay and understand it more all right so then after that we also look at 2021 personal focus okay personal focus as in like this is where you need your part to chat okay so if you can share okay your qr code okay with me again on the top uh, left corner all right so that now those of you if you have not gotten your part to chat scan on the qr code or you can click on the link that will be shared on you on the comments below okay so that you can go into our website key in your information plot out your chart screenshot it and refer it to your day master all right so this is a sample chart based on the year the month your day and your hour and the red box over here is your day master so i want you to pay attention into your day master what exactly is the element that's for me i'm water element okay right disregard whether yin or yang okay so as long as you're metal either yin or yang doesn't matter focus that your metal element as for me i'm water so how many of you here are also water element let me just see that all of you are following in the comments okay i'm watching the comment as well do share with me if you know your day master all right hi melissa lim okay simon tang chong mei young all right thank you for tuning in hi emmy okay emmy wong okay she's like yeah okay so very regular here thank you so much okay all right so i really follow this uh, um uh, guideline okay focus for guideline it's really awesome okay found clarity and found my authentic self thank you so much all right so now find a day master okay and then personal focus so we jump into personal focus just now was general outlook all right so again those of you okay who have just joined me please help me to share this session out so that it can actually reach out to more people john vega you're like me your water element as well and Ang, your metal okay ken er okay you are also water element very good you got it jesse your fire all right so now the next thing is now these are the five main mistakes okay to avoid in 2021 based on your day master all right so if you are meta day master like an ang okay right so if you are water a uh, uh, meta day master remember these are the main mistake that you need to avoid okay <coughs> overestimating your abilities so people like an ang and the rest of you okay who are also meta day master 
have you been overestimating your abilities okay this is something it's not to say is that having self-confidence having self-belief is good okay but overestimating your abilities has a chance to put you into overcommitment overly in a way committed to loans okay or all these things that over time itself can drain you okay so you can even have like a very promising okay this year is a year of beauty everything looks promising enticing remember everything looks like you know very like you know very nice and beautiful on the outside okay so the thing is if you overestimate your abilities okay the chances is if you take up certain loans okay to get into certain investments that seem to be promising an immediate return the possibilities is we can actually end up in in a way sufferings or consequences out of it so that is an example for metal people overestimating ourselves okay remember it is different from not having self-confidence means that having confidence is good having clarity within us is good but overestimating our abilities means that whatever that we do this year we have to really look into the practical data we have to really understand ourselves okay we have to really know can we cope with it or not are we able or not that's for metal people all right marilyn clon thank you here okay thank you you're fire all right so later we go into that if you are water people like me i'm water okay so water is about thinking everything lasts forever okay and this has been my major blockages we see that i have never been as so aggressive comparatively to this year okay you have followed me again okay? i have my business for the past like you know uh, uh, uh 10 years 11 years to be exact okay so as in like you know i've never been really aggressive i'm taking my own sweet time as you can see in my chart i also have a lot of procrastination stars okay but the thing is this year itself the main mistake when i share with you i have to ensure that everything that i share the strategies the reminders that i share i have to put effort into working towards it all right so this here water people is thinking everything lasts forever in other words procrastination so okay if you're water people just like me okay you have to start asking yourself have you been procrastinating throughout 2021 okay have you been doing that if you have been procrastinating okay the possibilities or the chances is okay right you have been in a way pushing away a lot of opportunities okay for you to grow for you to in a way see success in your life okay so you still have two months more okay to work on this remember yourself these are your main mistake stop doing that all right so for wood people jenny chong okay you're wood jesseline you're also wood now wood people okay it's uh you're unable to grow and diversify all right well when you're unable to grow and diversify that is your main mistake to avoid in 2021 so people like jenny chong uh, okay, people like jesseline chong okay if you're wood day master you have to ask yourself how much have you grow this year or have you been going into a repetitive year same old same old okay how are you different okay now in 2021 towards the end comparatively to 2020 comparatively to 2019 okay what difference have you made okay how have you diversified now diversified in terms of business it can be also on personal growth okay like how, how have you are, are you able to multitask okay have you learned new skills new talents new things that you can branch out or arms out okay so that is your focus for 2021 so avoid making the mistake okay of staying stagnant plus two non-growing okay so that is something that you need to actually focus on for wood people so now is a self-check time okay how have you been doing you see you have two months to work on that now fire element okay fire just now okay marilyn cron you're fire okay who else is fire element okay here anymore Ta Te Huat Hin, you're also fire element all right simon tan your fire element all right so if you look at fire element people okay so this year itself is taken over by greed remember okay all that glitters is not gold so a possibility is that this year itself a lot of things will be calling out to you looks very glittery looks very promising okay looks very good on the outside but the, a lot of things is as long as we are succumbing to greed okay as long as it can be a job 
I mean, uh, offer. Okay, where it can be something that comes to us. Okay, that in a way sounds more promising than what we have. Okay, uh, as of like before. Okay, not to say that we turn out down all offer, but we have to ask ourselves. Okay, the purpose that we are taking up the offer is it really because of greed of the amount? Okay, of money or the package? Okay, they are offering us. Or do you see other opportunities of growth? Okay, in those areas itself. So one of the things is just make sure that twenty twenty one. Okay, the highest temptation is greed. Okay, and of course the last one. Okay, is Earth. Katie Go. Okay, you are Earth as well, and the rest of you who are Earth Day Master. It's about seeking validation. Main mistake. It means that if you have any ideas that pops up, okay, anything that you felt like you want to achieve, you want to do, you want to start, okay, but the next moment is you have to seek validations, you have to ask for approval, you have to check with other people, okay, to see whether you should be going towards that particular approach or not. It means that you have failed the lesson, okay, because. That is your main mistake, okay? Instead of seeking validation, it will be best for us to work on ourselves to validate ourselves, okay? How do we even see ourselves instead of us asking everyone else? It's like, oh, should I do this? Okay, should I do that? I feel like starting this, and then again, everyone or mostly most of the people, not everyone, okay? Most of the people are affected by what grief, sadness, fear, okay? In the entire year. Just imagine you might have the most brilliant idea to start something, okay? That is your passion, okay? And in probably this particular idea itself has the highest chance, okay, to grow and to be successful. But the next moment you try to seek validations from people around you who could be affected by a lot of fear and grief and sadness, then the next thing is your ideas will not be taking a, a, a place to flourish, okay? So, Earth people remember seeking validations is one. Of the weakness. All right. So this actually sums up the five main mistakes to avoid in twenty twenty one. Now the next thing is still personal focus. Okay. Now we want to shift the focus onto the earthly branch of our month. All right. So again, those of you, if you have not gotten your party chart, okay, please scan on the QR code here or click on the link that we have shared in the comments. Okay, to go into my website. Plot in your party chart. If you have just joined us, forget about the earlier on. Continue from here onwards. Okay, guess. Um, I mean, in a way, grasp as many information as possible because the earlier sessions that you have missed, you can always go back into a replay. All right. So now I want all of you to focus on your month branch. Month branch means you have a year pillar, you have a month pillar, and the box here, okay, on the lower bottom of your month, okay, that is considered your month branch. So I want you to focus on the element again. This is example water element. Now as for me, I am a wood element. Okay, so for you in your month branch on your month pillar, okay, lower bottom branch over here. What is your element? Share with me. As for me, I am wood. So look at what are the things we have to focus on, based on the man branch itself. Okay, and this is the things that we have to re-examine. Okay, it means that come to this particular year, twenty twenty one. Some of us have to reframe our mindset. To repurpose our goal, okay. To re-strategize our life, okay, or our career or our businesses. To reignite our passion or to rewrite our story. So, what exactly it is for you? Now, for me, okay, I am actually a wood person, okay. So, wood person is all about re-strategizing, okay. So, you can see that this year itself, whatever that I've been doing or the company is doing is totally very different from the years before. It is all about a new game plan, re-strategizing. But what is yours? Okay, so share with me. Okay, it's like let's say Jelena is like, is that the new latest one? Okay, yeah, like Eco, your water. Okay, uh, Sing Chetra. Okay, your wood element for the month. I am wood element for the month as well. So we have to focus on re-strategizing. Okay, let's start from metal. Alright, so those of you with metal element in the month itself, okay, it is a year for us to reframe our mindset. So it's a year for us to do a self check, okay. How is our mindset going on, okay? What are the perspective in our mind, our belief, okay? It is very, very important. At the end of the day, I always say, there's no such thing as an ultimate. Butter chart, okay. There's no such thing as a great butter chart. At the end of the day, every chart is in a way, right? Okay, incomplete. There's no perfection. There's no perfect chart. 
But at the end of the day, okay, what determines a person's success is not really the chart, but the person's, in a way, mindset and attitude and character. Because our mindset and belief, in a way, subsequently will affect our character and also attitude. So metal element in your mind branch, okay, you have to look into reframing the mind, okay? Ask yourself, okay? What have you been believing in? The glass half empty or the glass half full? It's the same thing, but the thing is how we look at it, all right? So metal people, we have to look into our perspective and mindset, okay? For water people, it's all about repurposing, okay? In a way, we have to start asking ourselves, what is your exact purpose in life, okay? It's like, if all this while, probably if you've been chasing fame you've been chasing money you've been chasing love okay maybe now we have to repurpose it and ask ourselves why are we chasing fame in the first place okay are there anything that is in the way uh, insecure within us uh, why are we chasing love in the first place okay why is it so in a way not to say so important not to say love is not important but why is it something that in a way that takes much so much okay of our energy and concern why is that so? What is the purpose of doing it? So you can actually lead your back to uh, yourself back to some some uh, a traumatized childhood. It can be some uh, incompleteness within us in terms of our mindset that we want to work on. Okay, that somehow subconsciously it has put ourselves into situations that we are subconsciously chasing for things. Okay, to fulfill the wound we have within us. Okay, and that is for water element in the man branch okay and then for wood element if you're like me okay i'm wood element so whatever that i'm focusing is about re-strategizing okay so if i want to continue the same old ways that i've been doing for the past 10 years in my entire career okay i know that i will not thrive in 2021 because the key thing here is we have to re-strategize so what are the new strategies? How can my new strategies match with the need okay, of the year itself? Because we already know what the society needs. We already know what people need. How can I strategize this to fulfill the needs of the society in order for me to re-strategize the whole business model? All right. And for fire people, yin fire, some anxiety, we are a fire, right? Okay. It's all about re-ignition of our passion. All right, we have to reignite something. So if you have a fire in your mind, you have to see and you have to track, okay? All this while, how passionate are we, okay? How, in a way, how, you know, how fiery, okay? Right, are we deep within us? You can see whether a person is passionate or not from the way we act, from our body language, from our intonations, from, from the way we carry ourselves. You can see how much passion we have inside, okay? But if you have a fire in your mind branch, and yet when we talk, we become very sluggish, we become demotivated, we become extremely slow, we are not interested nor curious into anything at all in our life, okay? It means that the fire within us has died down. All right, because if you really see, it's like all toddlers, all children, they are full with fire. They are filled with this. They are filled with curiosity. They are filled with like, you know, a lot of passion, okay? So if that's the case, fire people on the man branch, we have to reignite it, okay? Because curiosity is fire because it keeps burning. It doesn't care. Once the fire catches, I mean, in a way, okay, when it catches fire, it will keep and continue to grow. But once we start, okay, to spread the fire, it means something within her has died down, okay? So that is time, okay, for us to re-examine this, okay? And of course, the last one, earth element, Tammy Tan, okay, example, what I see on the screen here. So if you're like Tammy, okay, if you have earth element in your man branch, okay, it's all about rewriting your story, okay? Who are you, okay? What have you been doing for the past 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, depending on your age, okay? What is your story, okay? Like if you people ask like, who are you exactly? How can you say that? How can you explain that? Now, this is what astrology is all about. I'm not here to tell you, oh, how great 2022 is going to be without much work put on your side. But I'm going to give you the skills, the strategies, the things to work on. But you have to do the homework. Right, by doing that, I can guarantee, okay, every year, in regardless of your 12 animal sign whether you have more inauspicious stars or more auspicious stars you will still go through good luck because every year there is a set of test paper for us it's like a exam okay for us to learn the lesson for us to break through for us to unlock ourselves to get the key but if we don't work on this then all this exam paper or test will accumulate over the years 
for the first few years of accumulation, probably still okay, you can still handle it. But imagine these accumulations of test paper have been accumulated for 5 to 10 years or even more than that. That is when people will really go through bad luck. All right, so these are the things for us to look into the five things to re-examine in 2021. Now, the last portion, okay, of the sharing, okay, um, will be the career and business focus, okay? I find that, okay, it is also important for us to share with everyone. Hopefully, okay, it is something that you have learned. Um, preferably, you have gone through it, you have break through it, and these are the things that you have implemented into your life for this year itself. If not, we still have two months to actually get it implemented. And in order to look into that, again, we have to look into the month pillar, all right? The same thing, month pillar, but now instead of the earthly branch, we focus on the heavenly stamp. Now, for those of you who have just joined us, okay, you can scan on the QR code over here or click on the command, the link that I share with you to plot your chart, all right? So focus on what are the elements you have on your heavenly stamp and here it is earth element. Now, for myself, okay, I am metal element in my month stamp, all right? So for you, it will be different. Do share with me so there's some sort of interaction, okay? So I know what is in your month stamp. So remember, in your month, have any stamp. It's the upper part of your month over here. Look at the element that you have inside, whether it is earth, metal, water, fire, wood okay so once you have checked that okay then we go to this okay i know there's a lot of things here i might not go through all of them okay so i will just go through some examples you can screenshot this or you can play back this particular facebook live itself in order for you to focus on yours all right so mine is metal mine is over here so example if you are like a earth okay let's start from the top if you're earth itself okay now business or career focus external internal okay now external means it's like no anything that you can implement or apply okay in the market okay externally okay it based on your sales marketing strategy okay internally probably in your team okay what inside okay of your business okay both of these can be used interchangeably okay but this is i put external and internal so that you have a more clearer divisions okay it means that like these are the two things that you have to work on so you have our earth okay in your month pillar means on your month stand okay externally you have to work on creativity so how many of you here have earth in your month stand okay because this is like more contents over here so i just want to go into detail a bit how many of you here have earth on your month stand now, if you have earth on your month stamp, please do comment, okay, onto the uh, Facebook chat here so that I know, okay, you are part of the people who has earth in the month stamp for your career and business focus. So this year itself, you just need to focus on creativity, renewer of product. Now, the product here, if you are in a business, it will be product that you are offering. But let's say if you're on a career, it could be you. The product is you. Renewer of product, okay? Heighten your skills, your talents, your capabilities, okay? Your certifications, okay? Now, change and be different, all right? Recognition, okay? How to actually gain recognitions, really depending on your type of career and also your type of business, okay? What are the product or service relativity and uniqueness? What makes you different? Melissa Tong, thank you, okay, for your comment. Right, Melis, you have a earth, okay, onto your man branch, okay, I'm understand, okay. So Melis, you have to ask yourself, how creative have you been in 2021, right? Have you been renewing yourself, okay? What new talents, what new uh, credibility, okay? Or the products that you're offering, okay? What is it? Recognition. How have you actually, in a way, strive to bring this recognition out to the market, okay? If it's yourself itself, it's how you actually, in a way, summarize in your resume, okay? In a way, what is your recognition? What are your past experiences? What are the things you do best? What makes you unique and different comparatively to other people? So example, Melis, if you're looking for a new job, okay, right? Everyone else is looking for or vying for the same position, but what makes you different? What makes you unique, okay? But if you can't, in a way, answer to any of this with speciality or uniqueness, the chances is there is something within us that has been stuck. All right, and internally, focus on people, personal, staff, okay, leadership development. Focus on self-development. Example, if you are employed, okay, leveraging on other people. How is your connection? How do you socialize with other people? Can you leverage on others? Now, again, 
you can't do this if you still have a lot of blockage within ourselves. Now, a lot of people say, say huh? Leveraging on other people is like making use of other people. No, I don't do that, okay? I don't like to actually ask people for help and stuff like that. Now, if that's the case, probably there could be some things or perspective or mindset that we are stuck within. Remember, leveraging on other people doesn't mean that we are making use. I mean, it can be making use of other people, but it can always be win-win situation, all right? But let's say, for instance, there are some people always find it difficult to leverage on other people. It could be internal blockage that we need to actually work on. Now, the next example I want to focus on here will be the uh, metal element because this is my example, okay? In my month stand, okay? My focus externally will be connection, new leads. That's why you see this year itself, we have been doing our very best. A lot of you just got to know me this year, okay? In a way, right, there are some very, very familiar names, okay? But a lot of you, some of you got disconnected for many, many years and reconnected this year because my focus is about connection, new leads, okay? Collaboration. Collaboration is like, how do we work together with other people? And of course, I have my long-term collaboration partner who is also, of course, the long, uh, long sponsor okay, for all my Facebook Live. Okay? I have this partner, which is J Group, the okay, gay Jennifer Yap, which is my collaboration partner on top of other collaboration partners as well. Okay? Now, this year is a year that I have to focus on competition, being aggressive but practical. Okay? It means that it is really not a year for me to just sit back and relax for like the previous years okay that have gone through because this year okay the chart says we have to compete we have to throw ourselves out there to be seen okay as part of the market competitors okay being aggressive and practical into the things that i do and internally invest in training and education okay how we have to invest time into our team to share the things wherever we we go through all these classes breakthrough classes and all these things the whole team needs to be there they need to be in a way like you know uh, uh, um uh, briefed okay towards all these things that is internal investment okay training and education as well now ability to innovate and self-improve okay Okay? that is important that is my focus if you are metal element how many of you now Yvonne yeah okay you're also metal okay if you are also metal element like me okay how many how how many of you here are metal element these are the things that you need to focus on have you worked on this okay now financial readiness okay assets equipment facility cash flow is very important so I have to ensure that this year I have to ensure that all these things are taken care of because if not, when next year comes, I will be stuck, right? Okay, and the last one is conceptualizing new idea and product, okay? I have to say that there never before that I have so many new workshops, okay? And so many new contents in one entire year, okay? But this is the strategy we waited. And you know that last year, this year, and next year, those of you who attended the Grand Centurion Breakthrough, you know that this three years itself is not just a normal three years. It's just a not a normal bull year or a normal tiger year, okay? It is a year that somehow, especially next year, okay, if we don't get ourselves ready, okay, by now, next year when it comes, we will miss the greatest opportunity in our life itself, that it will never come back into the next 180 years, okay? That's why it puts us into a position where we are so excited to recap all these things with you, okay? I'm not going through each and every one of them, okay? Because it's already time, but you can always play back, okay? And you can always screenshot. Let me just make sure that I spend, uh, stand this side so that you can also see, okay, all the informations and screenshot on the wood and fire element as well. All right, so basically, okay, that is all, okay, it's like a brief, okay, it's like, you know, uh, um, I would say um, looking back, okay, a brief reflections or in a way look back into 2021 what are the things that we have to focus on what are the things that we have to watch out for okay do we have the annual talk uh, tickets uh, uh, promo do you still have it there okay i'm um, for those of you okay i know many of you hundreds of you have already bought the ticket we have just in a way launched it i'm slightly behind time this year okay right okay so yeah can um, just now i move away you did i i'm sure now you can see right okay so those of you who have not gotten okay your tickets okay for next year 2022 Feng Shui our annual and astrology talk okay it is happening on the 8th of January which is the English session 16th of January which is a Cantonese session okay 
10 to 5 full day just one whole day itself instead of two days like earlier this year okay so you can actually scan okay on the qr code over here to buy the session itself okay you can buy two sessions okay or each of i mean one of it okay, if you come for the english or the cantonese one okay where we will look into again what will be the focus of 2022 okay what will be the personal breakthroughs what will be the concern okay and what are the strategies for us to ensure that 2022 we maximize our potential and we pass the test again and other than that of course next week okay i have my um solar eclipse right it will be the final solar eclipse or the final eclipse of the year and also the solar eclipse okay uh in a way for this year itself it won't come back until 2023 okay so 2022 there's no uh, full solar or total solar eclipse okay so those of you who have not signed up for this okay this is an exper uh, experiential workshop right we have sound sessions we have also on like the academic sessions of it for us to understand and build more awareness okay and also meditations okay these are the these are the ones that you can actually join 4th of december on the saturday take note is 2 p.m when the eclipse is taking place okay also via zoom is 80 ringgit you can also scan on the qr code to join me for this this one more okay one more session is okay i also have the grand centurion breakthrough now this one i highly highly recommend you to join me it is happening on the 11th december now this particular breakthrough session itself okay is 2 to 6 p.m now where we will look into your chart okay to actually guide you back to the past 12 years of accumulated tests and lessons or examinations that probably you have not passed okay that in a way also okay contribute to the heaviness of your energy in order in other words it also it is defined as bad luck lah, okay so if you really want to find out once and for all okay what are your breakthroughs what are the key lessons in your life okay what are the keys to the accelerations and freedom you have to achieve okay based on the past 12 years itself so that you can gear up and get yourself ready for for the upcoming 12 years this is 128 ringgit okay i highly recommend this one if you have not signed up okay don't miss it the first session we had we have like 500 over people in the first session okay this is an encore session it will be my last session before the grand central uh, uh in a way portal exactly opens officially on february 18 okay so i really hope that you can join me on this particular session okay it is really really very very informative all right so if you feel like joining this click on the information below or scan on the qr code okay it is taking place on the 11th of december saturday 2 to 6 p.m all right thank you so much again okay, to all of you um i know i'm slightly behind time okay it's like five minutes okay after the session remember if i'm going too fast okay do in a way watch the replay of tonight's session itself so that you can actually get all the information and ensure okay reflect on it okay this particular night or this particular week itself especially now that we are in the middle of an eclipse season is the best time for us to do reflection all right reflect on it honestly have we actually break through whatever we need to break through all right have we actually focused on the things that we need to work on for 2021 right are we really avoiding the main mistakes that we shouldn't be making in 2021 all right what are our internal and external career and business breakthrough or focus that we have to focus on have we actually take all of these boxes okay if not okay work on it and that will ensure you to get yourself all ready for 2022 to come all right so thank you so much to all of you here all right and again see you all very soon take care bye bye good night